How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here and I've got another awesome, super exciting video for you today. So you guys may have seen this already. Um, my Note 5, I showed you how to bypass factory reset protection um, on Samsung devices. So I now have a new method, again for Samsung actually. And this is kind of a collaboration between a bunch of people who helped me kind of come up with this, a little bit of work on a couple different ends and it's really really cool so my last method you've probably seen it you use an otg cable um, flash drive to bypass it that's pretty much this trick this time no otg cable no computer literally just the device gonna be on my samsung note 5 let's go do this Okay, so first things first, just let me show you what I'm working with here. So here's my Note 5 right now. I have a password on it. Well, not a password. What I have is my, I have my fingerprint sensor right here. So when you turn it on, you know, you've got this little thing. This is my wallpaper, pretty cool. But you go ahead and put your fingerprint there, and it unlocks the device, right? You could have a swipe pattern. You could have a pin. It really doesn't matter. But basically, when you have this on, if you boot into stock recovery, which we're going to do. So to do that, I'm going to power it off and you wipe data factor reset for whatever reason through stock recovery you won't be able to get back into your phone unless you have the same google account that was on it previously so to get into stock recovery let me just show you how to do this basically what you got to do is you hold home volume up and power and you just keep holding them once it's powered off and right about here you can let go of power and just keep holding the other two and there's recovery so we'll set that down so you guys can see it again and this is the first thing it does it says installing system update which it actually is not doing it's actually just loading up recovery right here no commands and then boom here is stock android recovery so the first thing you got to do is you got to wipe data factory reset the device and you just come down here wipe data factory reset and then hit yes. You can see I was all I had all my Google account signed in. I was totally set up and running this device. And so we're gonna wipe everything out. Now this obviously deletes everything. So um, we'll go ahead and do that. Wipe data factory reset. But this is gonna what I'm gonna show you here is I'm gonna show you how to get past the factory reset protection here on Samsung Note 5. Actually, any new Samsung phone, it should work the same way. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and reboot system now. It did the wipe data factory reset. And um, I'll go ahead and boot it up and just show you where it hangs and where you can't get any farther unless you have the previous Google account. Maybe you forgot your password, whatever, but now you're kind of screwed because you can't get into the phone. All right, so we booted up here. We're just going to scroll down to United States. And I'll just show you what I'm talking about here. So click into my Wi-Fi. Go ahead and put my password in. All right, we're connecting up, and it should be connecting. Hit next. Hit agree, agree. And then here's where it says checking connection. Remember this point right here. So this is going to be very critical in a second. But I just want to show you that we're in that factory reset protection state here. So let's check in connection, yada, yada, yada. And it's going to do checking for software updates. And then checking information. And here, right here, this device was reset to continue sign in with Google account that was previously synced to this device. Right here, this is the snag that we're going to get past. This is factory reset protection right there. Okay? I'm going to hit allow. It's fine. All right. I don't want to do this. So say I forgot whatever the reason is. I can't do it. I can't get that same email in. I don't know the password to it. Whatever the situation is, this is what we're going to bypass. So to bypass it, I'm going to go ahead and um, just go ahead and uh, let's see here. Go back. Let's, let's restart the device. Restart. Let it restart back up. This is the tricky part. So let me go over to my Wi-Fi router. You need to have access to your router that you connect to. It's very critical to do this next part. This is where the trick comes in. All right, guys, so here we go. This is the trick. This is kind of what gets you in a little deeper into your device. So to do this, you're going to have to have your Wi-Fi here. Go ahead and turn it on in the settings and the setup right here. 
Have your Wi-Fi router available right here. Also, keynote, very critical. Have your SIM card removed. Do not have a SIM card in the device when you do it, okay? Remove your SIM card. All right, so we're connected. Get your hand back here in the back plug of your router, and we're gonna break communication to Google at just the right moment. So we're gonna hit next, we're gonna agree, and we're gonna agree and get ready to unplug this thing. So agree, and we're gonna count to about three seconds. One, two, right there, unplug. Hopefully they didn't wait too long. Let's see what happens. Ah, that was it right there. Okay, you see that? Right is instantly as soon as it says checking for updates. That is your critical point. Now, this took me eight tries to get it, okay? It's literally timing it perfectly. But if you do, you get to this screen, which is exactly what you want. This is the first part of this cool hack. All right, very exciting. Let me show you this at a better angle and we'll finish this process. Okay, so we're on the time and date screen. This is proceeding farther, this is awesome. What we're gonna do is just hit next, it doesn't matter what that says on there. So hit next. You can put in a name here if you want. I'm gonna do Root Junkie because I'm the man with the plan. And uh, win, it just sounds like a good one to do. So we're gonna hit next. This right here, this is critical, super critical. You gotta be able to see the protect your phone screen, okay? So we're gonna set a lock. You have to do this. This is super critical that you do this. So we're gonna do a pattern right there and as my buddy likes to say Ken we're going Zorro style so we'll do it once and continue we'll do it twice and continue and then any password is fine I'm gonna do one 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 and one 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 this is not important because it's really not gonna be used later show content more more and boom you just reverted back to the same screen bummer didn't work right no, that's not true. Also, quick note, you might have noticed that my Wi-Fi just came on. Make sure you plug your router back in. You're going to need to have it plugged in. All right, now we're going to go next. Okay, you can see it's connected. We're going to come up here. We're going to do another quick agree to the terms and policies. We're going to let this one actually connect all the way through now. and let it check and it's gonna tell you the same thing, right? Factor reset protection, right? Which is fine, but it has a password, right? This is really good. So we're gonna put in our password and then it checks information, whatever. Same, same message, but we have a password. That's first access. Now, what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna power off the device. Restart, restart. Why are we restarting? Well. When you restart and you have a password, that allows you to get to the camera. What are you talking about with this camera? Camera is super critical because camera is gonna be what gets us deeper. And then we're gonna use it to get us deeper again to finally get us into settings. No computer, no OTG cable whatsoever. See here, camera, oh, that's phone, here's camera. So we're gonna swipe up. Uh, it's a beautiful thing, look at that. We're going to hit mode and we're going to hit download. Okay, to unlock. Yes, we'll unlock. So now we'll use our password that we put in. And here we're into this. Hit agree. And this is Samsung's uh, app gallery, right? So we're going to search and we're going to search for ES uh, file explorer click on it go ahead and download it oh yeah so now this is important you have to either create a Samsung account which is really simple or sign into one you already have I already have mine I'm gonna go ahead and sign in so there you go I'm signed in and it should go ahead and download the application so accept and download oh yeah baby all right so now you have a file browser okay <laughs> And we're going to use the file browser to get to our last step, which to get is to get into settings. That's critical. 
just like in my last video, we're gonna do that. So we're gonna click on the play button. Boom, ES file browser, really awesome, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not gonna do an update right now, I don't need to. Okay, so now here's the trick. I'm gonna come up in here, see where it says favorites? You wanna hit add, and then you wanna type in the path. So we're gonna do HTTP colon, where is it at? Slash slash www.google.com and we'll call it uh, name Google. Hit add and hopefully this did it correctly and it did. So then hit on Google and this opens a web browser. From here you're gonna type in root junkie sdl.com hit search and you're gonna click on my site. Booyah! Then you're gonna find um, you're gonna find apps, which actually sucks. You can't like really adjust this. Uh, we'll go back to it. So apps are right here listed, luckily, in the screen. And then if you scroll down, you're gonna go all the way to the bottom. It should say Samsung Bypass Google. It's all you can read, but it, it's enough. And we're gonna select that. That is going to install or download, I should say, an application. And let's just see, give it some check. And there you go. This is downloading the Samsung Bypass Google Verify application that I use with my OTG cable, but it's downloading it directly to the device. And now we can say open folder. And there it is. And we can click on it in file browser and install it. So the first thing you have to do is you have to turn on unknown sources. So I'll turn that on. Hit OK. Here you go. It says install. Do that. And then you want to hit open. There we go. And then lastly, now that we're in settings, just like in my previous video, you want to come down here and you want to go to backup reset. And this time you want to go to factory data reset and reset device. Put in your password you created. Delete all. And that's it. This device is now going to go ahead and do a reset from a password state in settings, which is just like with the OTG cable video. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. A little bit easier than this one if it works for you, but if not, this method probably will work for you. And this will do the reset, factory reset. You'll remove factory data reset protection, and you'll be able to put in any Google account that you want erasing this should work pretty quickly so let me just show you after we do startup we can get right through that screen and we'll be able to get our device fully functioning again so there you go we are booted up which is awesome again we'll select our country hit uh, there we go and then we'll connect to our Wi-Fi right there it is connecting up very nicely and we should be able to go next Next, agree, this time, wait for it, this time we don't have to unplug our router. Now, I know this was kind of gimmicky. Um, it, it is gimmicky. It really takes a whole bunch of tries to get it to bypass this check stuff and go to where you can set up a password. But the password gives you the camera, the camera gives you ES file browser, and ES file browser gives you the APK to get into settings, and that is how it's done. So, very, very fun, very, very cool. Um... So you can see it's doing its normal standard stuff. Um, tap and go. See, different screen, right? I'm going to skip it. I'm actually just going to skip through all this stuff just to show you. Enter a new account. I'm skipping it. This is a lot to skip, though. Samsung like makes this thing like ridiculous to just get through. Skip anyway. Um, accept. More. Next. Later. Later. Next, finish. Come on. Boom, boom, boom. As somebody I know on the radio likes to say, triple boom. Later. There it is. You have now bypassed factory reset protection with the crazy, crazy method that people on YouTube comments, my buddy Ken and me, kind of wrapped up all together and came up with this was pretty fun hope you guys have enjoyed the video i'm gonna leave you with some outtakes of ken trying this out he's a really funny dude you gotta check these out catch you guys 
in the next one. Root Junkie out. Next. Next. Agree. And right before. So, now. That was like right before it would have went to updating apps or whatever. Can't sign in, man. Oh, shit, son. Oh, shit, son. What? What? What the fuck is this? Yeah, I'm not putting my government in there. Set screen lock. Pattern. For Zorro. And this one was for Zohan. Uh, one, two, three, four. Done. One, two, three, four. Hope I don't forget this. Uh, show content, sure. Alright, more. Next. Aw, man. Next. Dude, I really think this just worked. And this was try number five.